Back here at home, the charity Buffalo Gives is working toward a goal to provide every Ukrainian soldier with a bulletproof vest. On Monday, the founder is going to the city of Lviv to deliver hundreds more that they have collected. News 4's Kayla Green caught up with her today about her mission. For founder Lydia Dominic, it all started with one Ukrainian refugee family. She says the mother's 18 year old son and husband are both fighting in the war without vests. We're trying to get a vest on everyone. These men are fighting in t shirts. And that's something that I won't stand for. That's why this is so important to me, because how many people can that one man save if he is properly protected? Now she's heading over to Ukraine herself to bring more vests. These are just some of the hundreds of bulletproof vests they've collected and will be bringing straight to soldiers on the front lines in Lviv on Monday. They had to get federal export licenses in order to make this mission happen. She visited Poland previously and met many of the soldiers receiving the vests. It takes a team to make the mission possible. Dominic works with a Ukrainian friend in Rochester, a Polish man enlisted in the Ukrainian army, and a man from Florida. It's all really hard to watch. It's all really hard to see. But any time that we hear news or we watch news or we see something happen directly in front of us that is heart-wrenching, we just pick a new project. We just decide on a new mission and we make it happen. And that's how we're handling the sadness and the gravity of this war. Dominic says unlike other parts of the U.S. where donations have slowed down, the people in Buffalo just keep on giving. Putting this together in a city like ours was, was quite effortless because people just love to make a difference here. And they can't sit around either, so I'm in the right city. Anyone interested in helping out can donate to Buffalo Gives through Venmo or PayPal or bring a check or cash to her store, Buffalo Balloon Co. on Maple Road. In Amherst, Kayla Green, News 4.